Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Paul Carter here on my journey as a surfer shaper artist. Going to take you through a video on hand painting t-shirts similar to this. Thanks for tuning in. Focus on the good. So here is the latest t-shirt that I've been working on and these are all of the paints that come in all kinds of colors, fluorescence, earth tones, pretty cool. They dry in about two to four hours. So I'm gonna let you watch this video and tune in and out of here and give you some tips and a little uh, comments along the way. So I hope you enjoy this. This is one of the latest t-shirt paintings that I've completed for a client. And you'll see the paints coming up periodically because I'm doing a spontaneous live feed through Periscope, which you'll find at the top right hand um, corner of my YouTube channel. You can click on that and follow me there. I do spontaneous live feeds through that in uh, Instagram and I'm going to be doing more of those um, periodically. So as you can see I am filling in the palm trees, giving them some depth, putting in the black and I'll go over each one of these as you will see and uh, I'll be back here in a minute. So take your time, practice on a t-shirt that uh, you're not worried about um, practicing on. And you'll get the feel for these uh, paints. It's really nice, they have a nice fine tip, but maybe try it on some paper to get a feel for the lines. Of course on the fabric, it will want to stick a little bit more, a lot more as you can see here. So take your time, enjoy it, and it's really important. That's one of the biggest things that I'm reminded of when I paint, because it's not a fire drill, it's not a race. I really get a lot of, um, a lot out of each painting that I'm working on. All right, so I am wrapping up the last palm tree, putting in the palms, and then I will go over it a 
after I get into highlighting the tree trunks and I'll periodically uh, go through and give the uh, tree trunks a little more roots on the bottom and then I'll touch up some rocks and kind of go back and forth and um, highlight the island. So there's no set program or ABC steps except for I like to lay out the um, painting and then get into the waves. It depends on what type of scene I'm doing. But I usually do the horizon to get the depth and the perspective I want. And then I'll put in the shoreline as you see. And then I'll go back over it and lay out the waves. And a good tip on that is to start with white for laying out the waves. And then you can go back over it with the uh, multiple colors of blue or whatever colors you enjoy at that time. So I'm going to let you watch this. I will be back shortly. All right, so as you can see, I am working on the sun. I like to put on dots and kind of get a good reference of the outlines that I'm working on. And the first coat usually dries pretty flat. So I will go back over some of these anywhere from two to three, sometimes even four layers. And I'm adding a little more depth, as you can see in the sun, and giving it a little more flare, if you will, the brightness, fill it in. And putting the dots for the sun rays going out into the universe. And the next thing I will do is I will start working on the highlighting of the reflection of the sun. And similar process, I will put some dots in and lay it out and then I'll go back over it and highlight it. Now, as you see, I am working on the palm trees and putting these small little dots and little lines on the palms give it that sun reflection of course you want to put it on the sides where the sun naturally would be hitting again don't be too hard on yourself on this and play around with it maybe do one of these on a, a piece of paper to get a feel for these paints or an old t-shirt that uh, you're not too worried about so let me know your comments if you have any and I will answer them. So I'm wrapping this up here guys. Thanks for uh, watching. If you liked the video I would be stoked for a thumbs up and please join the tribe. Click subscribe and I'm going to walk you and talk you through the final steps of this with the yellow highlighting. If you would like a custom painted t-shirt, send an email. I'll put that in the description as well. Have a great day. Keep creating. Don't be too hard on yourself. Learn by doing the work. It's the only way we all learn. And get outside, enjoy nature, get inspired. Get in the water if you surf or even if you don't. And get out and hike, ride a bike, walk, jog. It's 
really important to get outside. So as you can see, I'm highlighting the island, I'm going to give it a little bit uh, more reflection of the sun. So here's the completed t-shirt, one of them. And this is another one. Here's some surfboards, all custom shaped and designed. This is one of my favorite drawings. Pack your trash, please. Thank you.